Senator Yuan Pa Wu is the leader of the independents in the Senate, or more properly put, I guess, the facilitator for the independent group. He joins me now from Parliament Hill. Senator, good to speak with you again. Thanks for making time for me. Good, be, good to be on your show. The government was hoping the Senate would pass the back-to-work bill over the weekend, get it all done, move along quickly as the House of Commons did. Why didn't that happen? We didn't agree with that. We received the bill on Saturday morning after a debate in the House of Commons that went late into Friday. We then sat for nearly eight hours uh, hearing witnesses and having some limited debate. Uh, we were faced with a deluge of information that was too much to process and would not have been uh, do, would not have done justice to our role as the Chamber of Sober Second Thought. So many of us uh, in the Independent Senators Group pushed for at least a 24, 36-hour delay, and here we are on Monday afternoon about to begin third reading debate. And, and do you believe senators got the answers they needed to make an informed decision uh, about this legislation? Uh, and the big concern was whether or not it's, it, it, it's charter-proof and meets a, would meet a charter test. Are you satisfied it does? There are two separate questions. One is the charter test. The other is the uh, uh, degree to which there is economic damage uh, and harm that's being done to Canadians as well as small and medium-sized enterprises. On the charter issue, my personal view is that I'm prepared to be agnostic on that question. The government did give us a charter statement which really didn't go very far in addressing whether or not it's charter compliant. But as I say, my personal view is to leave that to the courts and to focus more on the question of whether uh, the alleged economic damage is sufficiently great for us to pass this bill. And, and where are you on that second point? I'm listening to more debate uh, this afternoon. I, my view is that uh, in addition to the evidence that we've heard, some of it conflicting, of course, we have to also project forward because we uh, are entering an even more busy season for uh, postal work. We have to project beyond our borders to think about backlogs in other countries, uh, mail that's uh, destined for Canada, and to take a holistic and uh, forward-looking view of the economic damage rather than just a static one. The Conservative senators, or, or their leadership at least in the Senate, uh, accuses your group of delaying the bill, saying the majority of senators were willing to sit Sunday and push the bill through, but that some of your members uh, objected to that. How do you respond to that? Well, if they want to rubber stamp the bill, they should say that to the Canadian public. We're not interested in rubber stamping. We felt that uh, we did our work on Saturday, as I say. We spent eight hours hearing testimony. Uh, it would have been premature, I think, to move to a vote soon after that debate. I think we did the right thing to delay for 24 hours. Okay, so you wanted to... Uh... You wanted the extra day for reflection, as you said. Uh, what difference did that extra day make? Well, a lot of us uh, were on the phone to constituents, talking to uh, Canada Post, both the unions and the management, talking to uh, workers, talking to uh, small and medium-sized enterprises about the impact that they, uh, that they are facing because of the rotating strikes. And above all, reflecting. I mean, ultimately, we cannot get all the pieces of evidence that we need, but we have to apply our judgment. And uh, I know my colleagues have used the time very wisely to form a view, which will be further um, crystallized, I think, when we hear the third reading debate uh, that's beginning in a few minutes. Okay, um, it, it raises the same questions about the legitimacy of, of the Senate that have been raised before. The back to work bill cleared the House of elected representatives, the House of Commons, and people will say, what right does the Senate have uh, to block that bill, uh, and if that's not the case, or to slow it down? Well, we haven't blocked it. We've taken the time to review it. I think Canadians would be even more outraged if we simply rubber stamped it on Saturday night. Uh, this is a different Senate from the Senate that we know in the past, the partisan Senate that was linked to political parties that uh, essentially did the bidding of the political leadership. This Senate, particularly uh, my colleagues in the Independent Senators Group, want to do their duty of sober second thought, and they will do it, I assure you, keeping in mind the fact that we are an unelected chamber and that we are complementary to the elected House of Commons. Okay. Uh, to be clear, we're having this discussion before the Senate comes to a vote on all of this. Is it, is it your thinking that notwithstanding some concerns that some senators have, 
when I look at the numbers, it suggests, and, and the way people are likely to be aligned, it suggests that you'll have made a point by, by taking time to look at the bill, but it's going to pass nonetheless. I don't know. We'll have to see. There are some colleagues who believe that um, there is no back-to-work legislation that can be justified, and presumably they've made up their minds. For many others, including myself, the main question really is the degree of economic harm that is being uh, inflicted on Canadians and uh, small and medium-sized businesses and the projected harm that will be uh, felt if the strike goes on. Okay, uh, let me finish on this. You, you've been arguing to make the Senate appointments process and the new, if I can put it this way, the new, new look Senate or newly, uh, a, a differently constituted Senate. You, you've been arguing that that should be an election issue in, in 2019 and less than a year from now. How come? Because Canadians need to know that the Senate of today is not the Senate of the past. They need to know that different political parties take positions on the Senate that are diametrically opposed to each other. We have one leader who wants to go back to a partisan Senate appointment process and indeed to have a Senate that is organized along partisan lines. Uh, the Senate is a fundamental institution of Canada's democracy and Canadians need to be aware about their MPs' positions, their political parties' positions on the Senate so that they can vote intelligently on, I think, what is a really key question in the governance of this country. All right. Uh, Senator uh, Ewan Paul, always appreciate your time. Thanks again for uh, speaking with me today. Thanks for having me on your show.